Okay, we're running now without the uh, over unity diode in the circuit. In fact, that's called the damn fast diode. And uh, it failed yesterday running this at 10 amps at unity. And this is the guy right here. So today we have him out of the circuit and we're running below unity and um, at 5 amps running on this cell here the temperature is about it's a little bit under 130 I mean it's somewhere close to that um, so and by the way it doesn't make really much difference what frequency that you will use for this so here's the pictures we're going to take and one here okay and we're going to stop okay we're this time we've replaced the uh, damn fast diode with a 49 amp unit. I don't think it was the current that did it. I think it's the frequency. Anyway, uh, this is the, if we look here, this is the current through the damn fast diode, which is 1.3 amps. So, temperature is about 135 at 7 amps. So, we can back this down to our target of four and we're getting closer to what we're looking for and the current when you start to see resonance uh, you start to see it going up in the in the in the, the damn fast diode so that's one of the keys right there is you want to set up for maximum current through the, the damn fast diode and this is we just got a temporary replacement guy in there right now. And I'm going to take a picture of the meters. Okay. We're going to take a picture of the of the board. And we're going to take a picture of the current in the damn fast diode. That was a, a very uh, important thing. And I'm going to stop so I can save this. Numbers here, we're setting it for 4 amps. Uh, that's what the uh, is called for, I believe, for this particular cell. The voltage cross cell is 2.94. Supply is, is uh, 2.4 amps. You divide the 4 amps by the 2.4 to get your over unity. Um, this is, it's been adjusted out. All the parameters to give you the maximum through the, through the diode at 1.8688, somewhere in that area. And this is the uh, DC bias on the MOSFET, 4.88 volts. Okay. And let me shoot through there. These are the settings. Let's see here. The only thing I can't see is the amplitude, so let me shoot. Okay, we're, <clears throat> I made a change in the circuit. And we're going over here, and this is the, the scope, the scope view. The beat pattern is just because of the video uh, rear camera against the thing. It's a, the trace is solid, and it's uh, almost 50% duty cycle, not quite a little bit higher. But anyway, here's the um, this is the schematic I'm working off of, which I posted before. Okay, and we're running off of the, the breadboard, and the changes were, I've shorted out two of the three, two of the three resistors in, in parallel, or in series, excuse me, in series, and then I added this other one in series with the two yellows to get me close to it, but I need now to make a measurement. Uh, this, uh, if we look at the Look at the scope here. Let's see if I can do this while I change the. This will change the marked space or the duty cycle. Okay. And this will change the frequency. Okay. 
So I want to get it down to where it's at 50%. That way it'll give me a, a pretty nice range of, uh, uh, if I invert the thing either, so I'll have a, a, a inversion follower so I can either have it uh, on 100% or, or off 100%. I mean, we wouldn't use something like that, but that would be the way I want to modify the circuit. So that's it for right now. And again, I can run the frequency I want to start on this range here, which is a little bit low. Top range is is uh, two two k, and that's it for right now. This is the final adjustment uh, until I go out and hook it up to the, uh, the cell, and the frequency is uh, one point five nine zero. This is the trace on the scope. As you can see, it's uh, fifty percent duty cycle. The changes were. I added two 12K in series to the pot that is uh, adjust the pulse width. Uh, what they call the uh, what the heck they call that? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, it's uh, it's uh, controls the, uh, the space and the mark the mark space of it. And I then uh, cleaned up uh, some of the capacitors here. In fact, this one doesn't need to be in there in there anymore. Okay, we just took that out here because we replaced those. Okay, so anyway, on with the test outside. Okay, this is the second test outside. This is now using my circuit down here that's been modified. And we're running um, under Unity. Uh, the supply current is 7.5. The cell current is 7.9. Voltage across the cell is 3.63, and the current uh, through the damn fast diode is 0.95. Temperature is running pretty hot at, uh, for this amount of current. It's running about 177 degrees. No cooling on the on the rod there. It's uh, you can see I got that rod. Additional information: the bias voltage for 8 amps uh, is 9.91 volts. This is the frequency of the uh, test outside test two, and this is the duty cycle. It looks like it is one, two. It's on for three and a half, and off for about a half. And the bias voltage was nine point one nine, one point one nine with this circuit right here. Okay, this is the third test outside. Uh, what I changed was on the bench, uh, the, uh, the oscillator was around 12 kilocycles. And so, uh, and what I did also down here after I started the test was, let's see here, I go back down here. To, so, so, with the, uh, the mark space, Set that for four. You can see what the draw is out of the power supply. 4.0 is the cell current. Uh, 3.02 is the voltage across. The dim uh, fast diode return current to the power supply is 2.3 uh, amps. Here's the big thing. Temperature is about 110 degrees.